Um, yeah, man, we did this the other day. If you guys, uh, uh, if you guys, for those of you who missed the show yesterday, this is a very sad story. This proto-human um, massacred this family. This guy was a, a um, god damn. He was in a company. He was a businessman. He was in a company. He was some kind of executive with some kind of company, man. Um, and this guy lived next to him in his gated community, and they um had a dispute over a basketball net. That's what the some kind of dispute. And this guy executed this guy and killed his wife. This is a sad, 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 sad situation. A witness in the report who heard the incident from inside their home came outside to render first aid. Allegedly, the witness asked suspect Norman Scott if he heard anything, at which point Scott replied, don't worry, I shot them both. Scott then explained to the witness that he had been arguing with his neighbors about a basketball hoop on property boundaries. The arrest affidavit says two of the surveillance cameras recorded the shooting, which showed Taylor Jones removing debris out of the yard and escorting his children's bicycle back in front of his home. In the report, Scott expressed during the argument both neighbors attacked before he shot them. Investigators noted that Scott's house had several surveillance cameras directed towards where the shooting occurred. At around 525 and 57 seconds, deputies note the surveillance video shows Scott reaching into his right side and retrieving a handgun. Jones immediately began backing away with both his hands in the air. Scott is then seen pointing at the firearm at Jones and he begins shooting. PBSL reports the suspect then turns the handgun on Tara Jones and shot her while she was on her property 20 to 30 feet away from Scott. After shooting her, detective said Scott walked back to his home while passing Taylor Jones on the ground. Scott shot him an additional two times. According to the report, a forensic investigator determined each victim was shot three times. And black people talk about stand your ground. Black people talking about this is a case of stand your ground, man. This is a clear case of stand your ground, man. Look at that, man. Look at this beautiful glider family, man. Couple, man. Wow, man. That dude really hit the lottery, man. Look at that beautiful family, man. Yo, yo. Having a beautiful, beautiful family is like hitting the lottery, man. Having a beautiful wife, a beautiful... A lot of people don't know that they're rich, man. A lot of people don't know they're rich. Salute to Jim Sefton, man. Four, um, we need four um contributors, man. Four contributors to drop the link. Salute to Jim Sefton. Oh, make that, um, make that two. Salute to my man, um, Baby King, man. Baby King says, yes, this is baby king we got to come here to support you because the that other site be boosy <laughs> i think he's talking about um youtube man don't worry we're gonna go rumble only man we got some things we gotta do man we gotta do that belt attack in new york and we can't do that belt attack and i think you guys might know what we're talking about if you've been on the internet today the belt attack in new york don't worry, um, Baby King. We coming to we coming to Rumble only. Salute to um Bo Brown, man. Bo Brown says, I think it's some sort of weird Peter Pan syndrome. They don't want to grow up. <laughs> they can't, it's 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 not even want to. It's it's just just just, just that that type of that's just normal. That's normal, man. Salute to Tony, man. Tony. Shout out to Tony, man. Shout out to Tony, man. Salute to Tony. Two more contributors, man. Two more contributors. Come on, guys. Two more contributors, man. Jim Sefton from across the pond. But listen, man. When you got a beautiful family, when listen, man. Like, for instance, like, I'm, listen, being thankful for what you have is, is 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 a lot of people aren't thankful for what they have, right? We all are like that, man. We're all like that. 
This guy was rich. Yo, think about it like this, right? Say you got all the money in the world, right? And your wife looked like Rosie O'Donnell, right? <laughs> you rich as hell and your wife looked like Rosie O'Donnell. Or you make a decent income, you survive, your light bills is on, your, your lights is on, your food refrigerator, and your wife look like this. He got four beautiful kids. This guy was good, man. He got a nice house. We all are rich, man. We don't understand how rich we are in the ways that we're rich, man. I know I I I fail to do that too at times, man. To see how rich I am, how wealthy I am, how blessed we are, how blessed I am. This guy had a that this guy had a wonderful thing going, wonderful life, and that piece of that turd killed him. For some stupid shit. This is him when he was a little boy. This is the guy, the white guy that got killed when he was a little boy. With his parents. Wow. Unbelievable, man. That fucking son turd killed him, man. Hate crime, yes. Hate crime. Definitely should be a hate crime. <laughs> this is literally what happens, yo. I ain't even gonna lie. This is literally how it happens, man. Yeah, exactly. That piece of shit. Cause this was totally avoidable. This wasn't, you know, things happen. People keep people, people die. Everyone's going to die. There's never been a person in the world who's never, who hasn't died. There's never been a person who lived. Who every single person died. Yeah. But they, you got to hear about this nonstop on fucking TV and shit. With something like that. The only people who covering you got to hear about this all day, but the only people who are covering this is channels like this. Channels like us, man. Everybody else covering this shit. Monkey noises and shit. Wow. Unbelievable. Mm, mm, mm. At about 5.25 in 30 seconds p.m. on May 4th, 2024, Norman Scott exits the front door of his residence, holding an aluminum ladder and appears to motion towards Taylor Jones with his left hand. Based on the angle and camera view, Norman Scott appeared to be asking Taylor Jones to come and speak with him in a very non-threatening and nonchalant manner. Taylor Jones acquiesced to Norman Scott's request, walked in his direction and stood close to the rear of Norman Scott's BMW. Norman Scott is the black guy. Taylor Jones is the white guy. At this juncture, Norman Scott and Taylor Jones were sitting five to ten feet of each other. As they were conversing, Taylor Jones was holding a plastic Gatorade bottle in his right hand. At no point during the encounter is Taylor Jones captured being aggressive, threatening, volatile, or belligerent. 
However, the surveillance camera captured Norman Scott, who was clearly upset and appeared to be yelling at Taylor Jones. They both appeared to be looking and pointing towards a basketball hoop resting between both residences. Through the surveillance footage, detectives observed Norman Scott was aggressively and belligerently pointing and waving his right hand in Taylor Jones's face. In response, all Taylor Jones was captured doing was essentially displaying non-threatening hand gestures. So this 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 black dude was was all up in this white guy's face, and the white dude was just like being um you know trying to trying to defuse the situation, man. While Norman Scott, the black guy, was standing near, hold on, no, oh, it says, it says at about 5.25 and 57 seconds, so this is 27 seconds into the interaction, without provocation, Norman Scott reached into his right side and retrieved the handgun. Taylor Jones immediately began backing away with both hands raised, whereupon Norman Scott continued following, with the handgun pointed directly at Taylor Jones. As Taylor Jones began stumbling backwards, Norman Scott, Scott starts shooting. In the first barrage, it appears Scott fired about three to four gunshots as Taylor Jones was falling to the ground and while Taylor Jones was actually physically lying on his back, Norman Scott continued shooting. While Norman Scott was standing near the sidewalk, he turned the handgun on Tara Jones' direction and continued shooting. The surveillance footage establishes when Norman Scott shot Tara, she was sta actually standing on her property about 20 to 30 feet from Norman Scott. From the surveillance footage, detectives were able to establish Tara Jones was walking or retreating backwards as Norman Scott was advancing towards her with the handgun extended. After shooting Tara Jones, Norman Scott turned and began walking towards his residence. And while he was passing Tara Jones, who was lying on the ground, Norman Scott proceeded to shoot Taylor Jones two more times. Shortly thereafter, Norman Scott is captured in surveillance, walking into his residence, holding a stainless and black handgun in his hand. Uh... Wow. He told the cops they attacked me. They attacked it, did me. Them white people attacked it, me, man. Yeah, man, Scott Adams, man. Scott Adams won't be appreciated till he's dead. Press one. Scott Adams won't truly be appreciated until he's dead. 